Welcome to another mind blowing video. Creamacast TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Hello, amazing viewers. Here is a very early aviation training car set that is over a hundred years old and was issued by Liebig. The cards came out just a few years after these flying machines were invented. Just think, without the aircraft illustrated on cars like these, we could certainly kiss goodbye to most holidays and vacations in the sun. And space, well, here in the UK anyway, and space travel will remain science fiction. Most importantly, our global markets rely on aircraft to exist. And so if the pillars of modern society were knocked away like dominoes, we'd lose a heck of a lot more still. Anyway, the desire to fly probably dates back to prehistoric times when our ancestors decorated their cave art galleries with bird pictures. The true age of aviation started later in 1783 with the Montgolfier brothers' first air balloon flights. Although this was certainly progress, nature was still firmly in command of the direction that these air balloons flew in. A steerable device was soon invented to reduce their dependence on the direction of the, that the wind blew. Jean-Pierre Blanchard is credited with being the first person to incorporate such an innovation in a balloon flight in 1784. Okay, slightly off subject, tokens were extremely popular in the late 18th and 19th centuries, around the time that the uh, hot air balloon was uh, really taking off. <laughs> and I've done quite a few video reviews of these interesting metal collector's items on my YouTube channel, so please don't forget to check them out. I would even be bold enough to say that tokens were the trading cards and cigarette cards of their time. Except, of course, they were made of metal instead of a car. Tokens, like their car cousins, were issued on a huge range of subjects and were extremely popular with collectors even in the 18th and 19th centuries uh, when they were being issued. One token was issued to commemorate a hot air balloon flight in 1823 by Isaac Ehrlichman Sparrow. Sparrow was a rich businessman who paid for the privilege of travelling in Charles Green's balloon. Charles Green was a famous aviator during that period. Like the billionaire Richard Branson, Sparrow broadcasted his daring adventure far and wide. TV didn't exist in those days, of course. And don't forget, newspapers were a bit primitive, to say the least. And so um, Sparrow issued tokens instead to um, let everyone know about his life-threatening <laughs> adventure. Probably the first ever aviation cigarette card set to feature heavier than air aircraft, uh, simply called Aviation, was issued in 1910 by W.D. and H.O. Wills Limited. I've already reviewed that particular set on my YouTube account, so um, like with the token videos, please don't forget to uh, check out that video when you've got a spare moment. Okay, the leap. The Liebig Meat Extract Company issued cards on a vast array of subjects, like uh, with the tokens. And they brought out this set of aviation tray cards, featuring heavier than air craft in 1911. Includes several military airships and an aircraft model designed by the Wright brothers who are credited with flying the first truly heavier than air aircraft in 1903. This set uh, also...
also includes an aircraft designed by Louis Blériot, who completed the first flight across a large body of water in a heavier than air craft when he crossed the English Channel in 1909, just two years before this card set was actually issued. So, uh, great set of cards this. Um, please don't forget to check out my other transport and aviation card sets and I've, like I said, I've done a whole host of other interesting and quirky collectibles. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com.